Welcome to Sermon q and I'm Pastor Alex here in the studio with Pastor Craig. And on January 23rd, 2022, we preached a sermon, the third sermon in our Jesus in an Insidious World series. And uh, so for today, we have a question from that sermon. And Pastor Craig, this question is for you. A question is, can a true Christian walk in spiritual darkness? Yes. Okay. It absolutely is possible and it has happened to many of us. Yeah. Um, I think it's something we're very familiar with or we've Mm -hmm. seen in our lifetimes. So the answer is yes. I think there's three reasons why it happens. The first reason is because we have uh, misplaced love or we we make choices based on loving something we shouldn't love. Yeah. Right. We're learning to love Jesus Christ, not a natural thing to us. Right. We're used to loving things in the world around us. Mm. We've been called from that to love something different. And so that's a a hard thing to grow into Mm. uh, because what we love is comfortable for us. It's a comfort blanket. Right. right? Yeah. It pulls us back easily. Right. It's enticing right? because it was so comfortable. It's familiar. It's, it's what we're used to. So what we get into challenges, we have a tendency to run to the things that we used to love. Mm. Uh, So God changes the things that we love at salvation. And we learn to love him more than we love the things that we used to love. But it's a process. It's a process. And so we we fall into that. I think we we make a choice, but we fall into that. And we call those idols, right? Whatever we put in place of love for God becomes an idol for us. The second reason I think is because there's an ignorance of what God requires. In other words, if somebody just accepts the Lord, starts to follow Jesus, they may not know, you know, all the things that God requires of them. They don't know spiritual disciplines. They don't know those things. And so you'll have somebody that was saved out of perhaps very difficult background uh, that that is is facing challenges mm-hmm. because of those things that, again, are familiar to them. Yeah. Uh, but they don't know the difference. Mm-hmm. It hasn't been revealed to them. And this is where the Holy Spirit comes into play because yeah. it's his job to reveal to us right. the things we need to kill. Right. right? Yeah. That's so why Paul said, understand, right? I die daily. He's yeah. learning to die to those things that he used to love. Right. And part of the reason we do those, we, we run back to those things. We just don't know yet. Mm-hmm. We, we're not, we haven't grown in our faith yeah. up right. to that point. Right. Yeah. So we need the Holy Spirit. We need scripture to Absolutely. show us like the things that we don't right. yet know. Uh, there's actually a name put onto that in scripture. It's called the weaker brother sometimes mm-hmm. has a tendency to to be challenged with some things that stronger faith mm. to people may not be challenged yeah. with. All right. And the third reason I think is because of the fallen nature that we have been saved out of, mm. um, p- the pull on that for us is so great. It's different from the first one in, in that it's a choice. Uh, this one also is a choice, but the pull of it is, is stronger because our faith gets tested. Mm. Now, when God tests our faith, he does it because he wants us to be stronger, right? James 1 talks about don't be surprised when your faith gets tested. Right, yeah. This is not like it's some coming, abnormal right? thing God is doing. Very right? common, right? Yeah. And whom God loves, He chastens, He disciplines. Mm-hmm. So if you if you're struggling with an area of your life that uh, that is taking over your love for God, God is going to God's going to stretch you. But sometimes He'll stretch your faith directly, mm-hmm. and when that happens, we have a tendency to fall. Yeah. And then we think, well, what's the use? Yeah. Uh, I I just keep falling into this, and then we give up to failure, and then. And we, we, we look at God and we say, well, God must not love me. And so I keep falling in failure. And, and you'll run into people like this because they'll say, well, God just understands me. You know, God and I have an understanding. And when in actuality, what they're saying is I've given up. Mm. Whatever this is that God is testing me yeah. in, I cannot overcome. So I'm not going to try yeah. any harder. Yeah. And it's like um, God rescues us. We call it God saving, saving us, us. right? Yeah. Because he pulls us out of sin and pulls mm. us into into glory, into becoming an image of his son. Yeah. It's almost like we choose to go back to the cell, back to yeah. the jail cell, and we expect God to come and visit us like, there. Like, yeah, come see us. Come see me. I'm going to hang out right. here, right? Yeah. And God's going, it's like, no, what, I want you out of the right. cell. What are right? you still doing you here? This place. Yeah. Right. I've saved you from this place. Yeah. Let's go. Right. Um, and so these are all of the, the challenges I think we face mentally yeah. when we fall into this sin. And the Bible calls it sin that easily besets us. Mm. Uh, it's it's the blank we fill in, like, I am challenged in this area blank. And, and it's different for all of us. Um, but those are the areas that uh, we have a tendency to kind of run back to. The Bible yeah. calls this backsliding. Mm-hmm. And we need to basically give this up to Jesus. Now, when our faith is being tested, I need to cover this briefly. Um, 
in the book of John 15, yeah. it talks about God pruning the branches. Yeah. He tests our faith so that our faith can be stronger yeah. for tomorrow. Wherever right. we're at now, we're not going to mm-hmm. be tomorrow or the next day, and certainly not yep. a year from now. Spiritual growth is hard to see because all it is is it's just testing and testing right. and overcoming, hopefully. Yeah. But when you drop the ball, um, don't be discouraged. God, God's not done yeah. with you. Uh, God's grace is That's greater than good. your sin. Yeah. And uh, greater is he that is in you than he that is is in the the world. world. I mean, there's so many passages we have that we can run to, but don't give up to the idea that my sin cannot be conquered. Or that I just have to stay in darkness the whole time. This idea of overcoming, right? Which is really what we're talking about at the end of the day. Right. Like, yes, I can. Like, it is possible for a Christian to be stuck in spirits of darkness, but like overcoming that is one of the gifts of like the Holy Spirit pulls us and prods us and gives us uh, a love. We were talking about this earlier. The power of the Holy Spirit yeah. empowers right. us to overcome yep. uh, that darkness that yep. we're in the midst of. And, and we should really touch on that before we go. Yeah. Um, we have a tendency to look at that and say, oh, you just got a bigger Jiminy Cricket to, to prick your conscience, <laughs> yeah. right? It, it, the Holy Spirit is not Jiminy Cricket. No, Everybody has you, Jiminy hey, yeah, Cricket. Right? Yeah. Your conscience has been replaced by the Holy Spirit. Mm. It's not two angels on your shoulders going, you shouldn't do that. Yes, you should. Instead, it's the Holy Spirit. The power of God is at work within you. Mm. And so if you're struggling in this area, I would say to anyone who comes to me and says, I I just, I keep walking in spiritual darkness. I don't know what to do. I would say, stop trying Mm. and start surrendering. Yeah. Like give up those things that you know are hindering your spiritual growth. Just give it up. That's good. Uh, Instead of trying more to do what, you know, penance to do something that that would make God love you again. Right. He can't possibly love you more than he loves you now. He He loves you right now in the midst of your spiritual darkness. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Surrender. Yeah. Give it up. Admit that you love that thing more than you love God and then find accountability. That's good. Find somebody that will ask you the hard questions. Are you still giving up that love Mm. to love God more. And the power of God working in you will give you the power to overcome. Well, Pastor Craig, thank you so much for that. And stick around for more questions on Sermon Q&A.